but that's partially because the humans are bad at, and we are in general, in uh, articulating our goals to artificial intelligence, right? Um, so the goal, right, may not have been um, articulated in the way that we conceive the goal, and yet the um, machine and the software powering the machine thinks it's met that goal by some sort of criteria. Autonomous cars, we see this problem all the time, right? Um, you would think telling a car to park within certain lines would be very simple, right? but it's much easier to teach a human what parking actually means and what acceptable parking means. And we sort of have these predetermined because we have other things going on in our mind about socialization. You don't park too close to somebody else's car because then they're going to open the door and it, et cetera, et cetera, right? If you don't uh, talk about all those things, like lay those out, um, you can have really, really unexpected outcomes when you're trying to reach a goal that a human thinks is simple. So we're going to see, as, as you uh, uh, talked about, um, we're going to see sort of, and this is kind of like a dog that's trying to satisfy an owner, right? Um, they're gonna really, really, really try to make sure that their owner is happy by doing something, right? By, but they may do something wacky and, and not really you know, do the trick they're supposed to do. I'm trying to make the owner happy. And um, yeah, we're gonna see a lot of this misalignment basically and the complexity of the real world. I don't think we're really ready for it. It's hard enough and we're starting to see, you know, a chilling of people being enthusiastic about AI in the software world on the internet, right? Imagine when we start having these robots walking around, the kinds of damage they can do, the kinds of messes they can make. Um, I think we need to slow down and really put the brakes on it personally.